in this Two Minute Tuesday episode. I'm going back to the basics and I'm gonna teach you what Forex is and how you can make money off of it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. My name's Artie, and this is The Moving Average, a show where we discuss everything day trading to keep you profitable on a consistent basis. I'm really, really gonna try to do this under two minutes. So let's get into my awesome little papers. You've probably heard the term being tossed around Forex. What does it stand for? It stands for foreign exchange, exchanging your currency for a foreign currency. If you guys live in the United States and you've ever traveled to Mexico for vacation, that's gonna be your first introduction to foreign exchange. Every single international airport has a currency exchange kiosk where you exchange your currency for that country's currency. For example, when you travel to Mexico right now, if you give them $1, they will give you 20 pesos. That is the current exchange rate. So if you exchange $100, you will get 2,000 pesos. Just to put this in perspective, when I was a kid, like 13, 14, and we would travel to Mexico, the exchange rate was one to 10. Basically, you can have a lot of fun in Mexico with a dollar. Tacos, tacos. Now we can get into the deeper stuff. Let's look at Euro US dollar. This is the most commonly traded currency pair. And right now for one Euro, you would need $1.13. Now you might be asking yourself, what does that mean? And how do I make money off of it? When you are trading currency pairs, a standard lot is a unit of measure of the amount that you're purchasing. So for example, if Euro USD is 1.13 and you want to trade one standard lot, which is 100,000 units. In order to place that trade, you need $113,000, the current price multiplied by the number of units. You can see right here in the third and fourth decimal points of this price. If it were to go up from this price to this price, that would be a difference of 10 pips, which is basically a difference of one one hundredth of the price. So with your original purchase of $113,000, if the price went up, you would have an additional $100. That is the act of buying at one price and selling at a higher price. You make the difference of 100 bucks. That's your profit. Now don't get confused because it can easily go the opposite direction and you can lose just as much money. That that is why a clear understanding of technical analysis, basic financial fundamental analysis, as well as months and months of studying and practicing is going to help you be able to make money instead of lose money. If you guys want to learn the basics of technical analysis, I have a fantastic beginner playlist, which you can find right here. And if you guys enjoyed this video and you got some value out of it, make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe. Makes me feel good about myself. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.